lifestyle big up on yourself you know and i don't know the vibes already welcome back to another vlog you see me so yo listen peeps you see me my active auto work shirt right yo let me tell you that today's episode is going to be epic we're putting on an exhaust on the poison you see me and how we ended up with this exhaust was our friends at active auto work which is a jamaican owned company that does a lot of bmw fabrication in terms of exhaust down pipes all of that type of stuff they reached out to us and they're like yo we see what you're doing we love the vibe and you know we want to you know we want to gift you something for the car i'm like yo listen if you want to give me even ice mint or sweetie i'll take it whatever i'm a, i'm always grateful for whatever people send my way and let me tell you guys I'm going to show you the unboxing of it today. We're going to head over to Bowlers today. We're going to link up with Vijay. He's the one that's going to put it on for us. But let me just say, big up to Active Auto Work, guys. You need to support them as much as you can. Not because they're a Jamaican brand living in the States and they do a lot of good quality exhaust systems. You understand what I'm saying? So I want you guys to big them up, show them some love, make them know they're rolling from Skunk Lifestyle. Leave a comment on some of their pictures. You don't know. Show them some love. Peeps, let me just tell you, I don't forget where things started. Big up to Chris, Bimo Butler, BMMR team. Yo, the entire BMMR team, big up yourself. Chris was the one that invited us over to BMW Invasion last year where I got to meet the owners of Active Auto Works so that we could have set a link. So yo, give thanks to that Chris, my big up for that all the time. Big up to Chad from German Line as well. He was the one that took us up to BMW Invasion. So yo, peeps. Let me tell you, this community is great, loving the BMW community. And today I'm going to show you a little sound comparison, clip comparison of the stock exhaust compared to the upgraded exhaust. So you're big up on yourself, I hope you stay tuned and like this episode. Big up to Active again, and you don't know, we're out. Oh, and before we get into this program, yo, I have to big up Ken, the Daily Driven from BMW Invasion. Yo, he was the one that actually reached out to me on Instagram and said, hey, guys at active want to give you our exhaust of the car so yo big up to ken again follow his channel crazy content g80 you don't know the vibes big up Skunk lifestyle all right lifestyle so i was going to give you a, a little pull with it in comfort mode then I'll switch it to sport mode so we can hear the difference in the tones. I mean, I wanted to mount a GoPro on the trunk right by the exhaust, but kind of a little fear. I mean, last time I did that, it was crazy. Like, they lose my GoPro, isn't it? I mean, I'll get, I'll get, a, I'll get a better um, mount next time, but for now, we're just doing an in cam video of the, the difference between the stock exhaust and the active auto work exhaust um, I'll, leave the I'll leave the details in the description below the actual one that I got for my car but I know this is something that they developed for the M340 so you'll see the full installation today but this is comfort mode right now as you can see I'm pressing you don't really hear it right it's not that pronounced it's pretty you know because the valves close at that point all right, so I just switched into sport mode a while ago. I don't know if you can hear it. It's purring a little bit more. Um, so let's hear how it sounds when we press it in sport mode. Big up. Oh, I decided since I'm in traffic, let me just let you hear it sound when I rev it from inside the car in comfort. All right. I'm gonna switch it to sport now. Oh. All right, peeps. These are just demonstration pulls only, so no racing or anything like that. All right, so right now in Sport Plus. Yep. So that's the stock exhaust that you're hearing right now. Hopefully, you can hear it. And then when I put on the Active Auto Work upgraded exhaust, then I'll give you the review on that and then you'll hear the difference. But 
Hope you like this vlog so far. Yo, big up to my sponsors as always. Big up to Monster Energy for always energizing us. Big up to Dollar Financial for financing us. Big up to Miracle Corp. I'm Zoel, VP Racing, Falcon Tires, just to name a few. Grab and go. You don't know anytime we need anything from a convenience store. Grab and go is where you should check. And big up to Burt's. You don't know. It hurts if you don't check Burt's. And remember, capitalize on the skunk lifestyle unique code farms you get 15 percent off on your purchase i mean conditions apply but majority of everything you get me so anyways heading to panano gonna wash out the vehicle probably do a little quick little b-roll of that and then we head to vijay to drop on this exhaust on the car some fabrication might be needed because of how my diffusers are so let's see how that work out but Big up on yourself, you don't know. Skunk lifestyle is here, isn't it? Man. Lifestyle, here I go on now. So we just pull up to VJ Bowler's Garage, isn't me on Red Hills Road. So they're the ones that will be doing the installation on the active auto work exhaust for us today. Looking forward to it. Hopefully, we don't have to do any fabrication. I'm hoping, in terms of not to the exhaust but to the diffuser. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, about to start. E36, E36. Yeah, don't throw this thing. Don't throw that. Is it over car? Mm-hmm. Man. Soon done. Soon done. I want to look nice though. See the Replace this one. Nice little machine. But I'm sure you guys remember the mishap with this one. But anyways, I want to this, this one is here again. Yeah. And this one's gonna be the next machine. Mad. See it on peeps, so I did the official unboxing of the Active Autoworks exhaust for the M3 party. So, Vigil is here, he's the one that will be installing it today. Mad. Nice. So, Vijay, you can give us a breakdown yeah, of man. what some of these pipes are because I don't really know much. We don't know what is around at the back. Yeah. The back pan right here. It's about the tips too. Yeah. And I'll Can tell you, you the tips? from years, from years, yeah. Active always make the best exhaust for BMW. And That's let like, them know Active is a Jamaican owned company. Yeah, man. Some Jamaican people own it, man. Active stuff, them exhausts is always top notch, bro. Always. Yeah. From as far back as E36 come right up. If you want the best exhaust for your BMW, buy Active. You hear that? So big up to the active team right now for sending us this beautiful exhaust for the party. Oh, look it. Fine, great. Nice. That is it. That, <laughs> that is it. That is it. <laughs> Isn't it? The exhaust from. This is for the exhaust from? Yeah. Okay, man. See, I know people. Yeah, Gungo, is it? Yeah, so mm, look out for this one. Alright, yeah. lifestyle. So, I'm going to show you a quick look under the stock setup this is a stock setup right now as you can see and all the way down the mid pipes back up everything is stock so we should be changing these out soon the square won't be here anymore the two double tip exhausts i'm not sure we might have to do fabrication they said that we won't have to do fabrication so i'm hoping we can get through with that because trust me i don't want to change this diffuser and if I do, I'm going to find a way to get it to work. So 
Yeah, yeah lifestyle, so you can see what's going on right now. I won't, I won't have to do any fabrication to the diffuser. The tips actually fit perfect, so I'll show you how we install that. So right now, the exhaust is up. And looking forward to hearing it start up. So we don't know the vibe. And so what's going on. They sent this connector, I should have showed you guys, it was for the valve. So it actually extends the wire that goes up to the to the valve right here. So yeah. Looking forward to seeing it. Ah, time to install these tips. So these are the, actually the carbon fiber tips. It comes with three options. It comes with silver, matte black and carbon fiber. So you see right now these are the carbon fiber. Big up to Active for sending us these. Everything is optional. I'm really happy that I didn't have to modify this um, diffuser because trust me, I love this diffuser and the fact that I don't have to modify it. Trust me, I really love this exhaust way more. Yo, let me tell you about this exhaust, what I like. It don't have this raspy sound to it, it sounds very round. So think about it, this raspy would be like eh, explosive, the more round, like, brrr, like you know? So yo, big up to active. We we'll soon put the tips on and then pretty much I'll carry some I'll give you some reviews. Do some before and after of the comparison of the sound. Alright lifestyle, you can see the tips on right now, I'll show you a shot tomorrow in the day But I'm um, just finishing up now, actually the rain came down and I had to wait on, uh, I had to wait on it to ease up So yeah man, you don't know, tomorrow I'll show you the walk around of it So yo, we're getting the first startup, well, the second startup Because the first startup was without the tips, now it has all the tips, so let's hear it Style. So right now we're gonna do the sound check on the stock exhaust and then I'll do the follow-up when we install the active auto work exhaust. guys a cold start on it right now before and after comparison with the sound clips so hope you like it big up to active again big up to ballers easy me 
So let's go. lifestyle so let me give you a quick comparison between comfort mode and sport plus mode well sport plus is what I drive in still so this is comfort right now as you can hear it's very quiet like very low tone um, I did a cold start earlier for you guys to hear that but right now this is how it sounds when I rev it in comfort so I'll let you hear it in sport now a difference so I'll give you a drive around with the comfort and then I'll put it in sport so you can hear it as well really loving this exhaust trust me I mean big up to active again it's a nice exhaust and the car is definitely sounding more healthy now what I like about it is not one of those raspy tinny sounds it's one of those exhausts that you know it has body you know like it's on all right so i'm giving it a comfort mode pull ah that's the comfort mode pull so i'm put it in sport now so you can hear it in sport sport mode now Love how it's on farms. Hey yeah, man, big up. Loving how it's on in lifestyle. Trust me, machine sound very good. Like the active gives it a like I tell you a more round sound, more bassy feeling. I like it. It's really nice, like really nice. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a Get the youth to my giant in the morning, you know. Oh, good girl. Come on, 
Lifestyle, Wagwan Mad. So yo, anyways, today I'll be doing a quick review on a electric scooter sent to me all courtesy of Varla Scooters. Right now I'm gonna leave the website here and I'm gonna link, leave there and I'm gonna leave the link to their website right below in the comment section. So man, tell you, peeps, I was actually elated. I was actually vibed up when they actually sent me the email and them say, yo, hey, we like your YouTube channel. We see what you're doing and we want you to do a review on this electric scooter for us and let us know your honest opinion. So that's what we're going to do today. As some locals, as some yardies, you don't know this is an international thing and it's a great deal. It's a good vibe. So yo, I'll give you my honest review on it, tell you what I think and then if you guys are interested in getting one, the link will be left in the description box below. So yo peeps, we're going to jump into this episode now. Nah, nah, hurt me. Mad, I have a knife, bro. So, yo, today this is my. No, no, sir. No, sir. No, no, I want to. I have a knife, man. Forward, man. So, yeah. we're going to be doing the unboxing today. Most of the times, you guys will know Jason from like my motor sport, like my motorbike builds. You see me like on the quad and stuff. So, we're actually stoked about this. So, peeps, this is the Varla Eagle one. Apparently, it's a dual motor scooter. So, you don't know, looking on the packaging and stuff. I mean, how much do you think this way? Kind of like a weight to it. Yeah, kind of weighty. Yeah. Know, probably like about uh, 80, probably 60 something. Yeah, no, kind of heavy still. Yeah, yeah. heavy still. It, it took the boat of us to, to lift it out. So I'm going to have um, us unbox it now and then show you guys what's inside of it. Cause, yo, this is nice. This is a vibe, isn't it? The moment of truth. Sweet. Whoa. Mad. So let's look and see what comes in the package mad so you don't know like everything comes on our owner's money on you know we won't get through this or anything like that but i'm sure this is an instruction to kind of like set it up and get it going so we're going to actually take it out of packaging now yeah so you know i think this is a for the charger wow where's it's every boy yeah, eh? tools okay, and everything tools and stuff like that man this is the out over here i'm gonna allen key set so oh, this is for the charger. We can unbox these and show you guys this in a few. Yeah. So currently it comes with the AC cord, comes with the charger right here, the Allen key set. Um, don't know what these are yet, we'll still figure this out. Comes with the skin to the board. Mad! Mad! <laughs> Ready for Yo. I have a stand and thing, mad. So, I forgot to set this up. So, yo, farmers, watch out now. You all shocks, you know. One in the front, one in the tube back. Tube. Comes with a spare tube, just in case you don't know. Put up some maca or something on the ground. Um, I think it has a brake light around here as well. I'll show you that when we call it. Um, you don't know. This looks really comfortable, though. Looks really comfortable. Alright, so you want to kind of find a way figure it out how we're going to actually yeah put the money up yeah, yeah I think pretty straightforward yeah so yo what I realize it comes with a nice like, braking system around here I mean I mean I'm not like a pro at these stuff when it comes on to these braking systems but as what we can see is a disc type braking system these wheels also can be patched it comes with a tube you get me so clearly it's not a tubeless. Um, I think this is the charging port here. These are the waterproof caps. It has um, front disc brakes as well, as you can see right here. And it has a locking mechanism here in the neck that the bar can actually fall down for transport. What's the best part about it? Tell me. Turbo. Tur <laughs> Watcher. Bro, I did. Right now, right here, you don't see where I go on top eco mode and turbo mode. And top eco. Turbo and single dual, I don't know. Pizza is in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> you can use the bell. Huh? You can use the bell. Yeah. So oh this is our digital meter as well. We're gonna fix up all of these stuff. Mad. Can't wait to power it up to show you guys what mm -hmm. it's all about. Comes with two keys as well, so you don't know. Alright, so we just set it up, set up the handlebar and everything like that. Um, Alright, so I actually just took it for a pull a while ago. So let me just show you the key features that it comes with. Actually, it comes with a key for the key barrel right here. When you turn it like that, 
comes up with the voltmeter right there so I pretty much think this is the amount of voltage you have running comes with a digital dash right here mod shows you three different settings right has first shows the gear right here the speed and the other meter which is the amount of miles that you travel with it as you can see the mode shows gear 2 gear 3 highest level I think carries it about 45 kilometers so I'll show you that on the GoPro shortly had more battery power than, than what you've seen here now but just showing you the little elements from the little bell right here pizza bell so these modes right here eco and turbo let me see not focusing okay eco turbo single dual so eco mode you don't know your battery life going low you coast it on this turbo for highest performance single stands for single motor so it's a dual motor scooter so it has two motors so this is for if you want to run it on a single or a dual motor dual meaning highest potential you know highest power performance yeah um earlier when we were setting it up as well the gooseneck or the, the lock right here you have to know what you're doing right here because if you don't lock it back properly the neck will have a little play in it um as i said earlier it comes with a shock at the front shock at the at the back this brakes using me and let me show you it actually has brake lights so that's how the brake light look and i think if my memory serves me correctly this is supposed to have a headlight as well so let me see if i can turn it on there, there. all right so like let's take a little scooter for this kick up your kickstand turn on the ignition right here turn on the, the digital clock this is the brain unit of it so this pretty much sends a signal that it's ready to go as you can see i'm pressing the trigger and it's moving like that we have eco turbo single dual i'm gonna just turn on eco turn on single so let's just test it out and see how it works all right so right now we're in eco eco mode and single mode all right so we're running off of one motor right now so we're gonna take a little cruise around new kingston and see the vibe so this is eco mode currently and as you can see it's pretty comfortable at this speed you're looking at maybe about 15 15 miles per hour from what this states on the clock so i'm gonna take it out of big up big up i'm gonna take it out of eco mode now so this is turbo mode as you can look look on the clock we just got an extra three miles per hour out of it just turn it off eco mode and i'm now going to turn off the i'm going to turn on the, the second motor now so right now peeps we're running off two motors all right so right now we're running off two motors as you can see and we're gonna see the top speed that we can actually get out of this thing let me just try to find a road where we can see the top speed we can get out of it and um yeah let me put it back in eco mode i'll show you the difference with eco mode and turbo mode all right so right now we're in eco mode now so it's a little slower now yeah just giving you guys a quick look run around our new kingston today on the thursday on the wednesday Yay, so let's go. So we're in eco mode right now at 14. So I'm gonna show you how tur turbo mode works. I'm just trying to find a road I can get up to speed on that's pretty smooth. Alright, so right now woo, I'm gonna show you guys how this works. Mad. all right so we're going to take a test on it now so as you can see we're in eco mode at about 15 miles per hour watch this now Woo! oh wow all right so you want to see the real power so we're in mode one we're going to go to mode two now 
mode 2 so we're well, gonna see what it is like in mode 3 let's turn around I was wondering why so I forget that, that we have different modes okay this is mode 3 now let's see what the top speed we can get out of this this little scooter tell me if that's not something amazing thumbs trust me so just giving you guys a, a review on the Varla so this is dual this is single mode this is dual mode now the speed picked up as you can see and we're zooming all right lifestyle so you know you guys can check them out it's a nice scooter brand you know? spin it around up here so you can check them out at wildoutscooters.com Catch you at a lie. So yo peeps, you don't know. Respect for tuning in today. Big up to Active again. Big up to Varla for sending us that awesome electric scoot. So yo listen, next episode up will be the review, quick review on the first G82 M4 in Jamaica. And I'll be doing a feature on an all electric motorbike company. So that will be in the next episode. I'll be dropping that hopefully by Wednesday peeps you don't know the vibes big up i'll be in antigua soon to so antigua farms leave those flags in the comment section let me know that you're here and you've seen this video so yeah i just want to big up everybody again respect for tuning in you don't know skunk lifestyle i try to bring a lot more content for this year coming in terms of 2023 and we're almost at 100,000 subscribers and you see when we hit 100,000 subscribers i'm gonna ensure that you guys get back some perks giveaways I'm gonna try to give you some money. I'm gonna try to give away. Yo, man, let's try to do a whole bunch of stuff. So, yo, big up on yourself on a Sunday. You don't know. Hoping to get some pulls in the poison soon. And I should be linking up with six. So, you don't know. Care for us, yep. Yeah.